We're here at the Princess Diana Memorial Playground. It's a lovely place. The first time when we were here in London, we brought the kids here and they absolutely love it. It's a really, really fantastic playground and even the adults love it too. We believe that play is a really important part of them growing up in terms of their learning, in terms of their development. Through play, it's probably the best way for them to learn. So what is play in the context of entrepreneurship? I believe that as an entrepreneur, we should be doing something that we're good at. We should also be doing something that we love to do. When we're doing the things that we love, it makes it a lot easier, it makes it a lot more fun. Not only that, during the time when we are just starting out, especially at the starting phase, you're gonna be meeting with a lot of obstacles. There's gonna be a lot of moments where you have that self-doubt and really the play part is to come in because otherwise, it's gonna make it really, really difficult. It's something that you used to do and it was a lot more fun and now that you're doing it, it's no longer that fun. When I first started out doing the vlog, it was really, really fun. But as I progress along, uh, sometimes it gets really, really difficult. Unless I'm able to extract the fun and the part that I enjoy out of the whole process itself, it's gonna make the process a lot more painful and if it's gonna be painful at the end of the day you know at some point in time I'm just gonna quit here are some tips that I have done to kind of uh, re-inject the fun back into what I'm doing number one being grateful so when I'm grateful and I say that well I get to do this rather than I have to do this it gives me a different sense of uh, perspective. With that, I bring along a different set of energy. So when I say that I get to do this, I find myself in the place where I am appreciative, I'm grateful for what I'm, what I'm doing. With that, I take a stand that is more positive and that makes it easier and also that makes it more enjoyable. two thing that I do to inject the fun back into the whole process is of course to look at ways to improve and look at ways to do it better when you start learning a particular thing uh, initially it can get it, it can be a lot of fun but after a while when it becomes stable you may find that it's a bit more it's a bit monotonous and when it gets a bit monotonous it may become a little bit boring so that's where i can inject new ways of doing things i try to find how i can improve the whole process itself in order for me to improve that i will have to continuously learn new things or new ways so that brings back that fun bit that brings back the excitement bit again to working on that goal The third thing that I do to kind of bring back the enjoyment or to bring back the love of doing things it's really to think back at the point in time when I first started doing that. Um, with that, it kind of brings back the memories, it also brings back the ideas and the original intent of why I'm doing it. So when I do that, it always allows me to revisit the intent that I have for achieving, for working on a particular task. So for example, when I first started on my vlog, the intent was to document the journey that I'm taking as I'm looking at reinventing myself by building an audience, by building a brand, and by building media assets. And that was the original intent. And like I say, sometime along the way, I may lose that focus. So when I look back at what was it that I enjoy, and usually it will bring me back to that original intent. So the three things once again, the first one is to adopt that attitude of being grateful that I get to do this rather than I have to do this. Number two is to continually find new ways of improving on that particular outcome in finding new ways of doing things. Number three is to think back on what was the original intent of that goal and of that task. So remember to bring in the play.